Um, talk to me about the fire yourself playbook. Walk me through what okay. that is. Yeah. So, so when it comes to salespeople, that third pillar, there's three main components in my opinion that, that go into, to really, um, having successful salespeople, getting yourself out of sales. Uh, one is the hiring and preparation for a salesperson. So preparing for them to come in, setting them up for success, building up the framework for them to be successful, knowing who to actually go after and where to go after them. So there's the hiring portion, there's the training portion, and there's the managing portion. Those are the three things we're going to talk about in the playbook. So hiring is everything from who's our ideal candidate, what are we going to pay them, when they come on, how are they going to be onboarded? Where are we going to find them? How do we build out a hiring funnel, right? So inside of there, I've got a five-step hiring funnel. Here's how you build out. Here's the tech we use. Here's the, the things that we do. Here's the emails that we send to our candidates. Here's how we vet 85% of the candidates out without ever having to get on a call with them. Um, here's how we drive as many. Here's how many candidates you should be looking to get in, right? So that's the hiring portion. The training portion is product market training, right? Like putting together... Uh, training on your product or service and your market and how they relate to each other. That's what they're going to be selling. And so you got to create training for that. Um, create an environment where they can be successful, get the, give them train tracks, guardrails, et cetera, to run on. Um, and then the last is managing, which is, okay, great. Now that we know who to hire, what to pay them, how to hire them, we've got them set up for success. We've onboarded them. We've created some training for them. We've got a little lightweight tech stack built out for them. How do we actually lead them, coach them, and manage them to success? Very three different um, uh, characteristics that a good sales leader possesses is one, leadership. How do I set the, the, the direction, the North Star? How do I motivate them? How do I get them pointed towards the direction of our company goals? Manage them. How do I keep them accountable to the numbers, right? quantitative and qualitative data. What is, what are the, what dashboards do I need to build? What reports do I need to have? Um, how do I analyze those things? How do I hold meetings and what reviews do I do? And all that stuff's laid out for you. And the last part is coaching. How do you talk to the individual one-on-one? -on -one? How do you care about them as a person? How do you help them hit their goals? How do you make their skill set better? How do you train them? Those kind of things. And so the, the fire yourself playbook is, is those three elements. We walk you through all those different things, who to hire, how to pay them, how to find them, how to hire them and start, how to train them, and then how to manage them, what dashboards to build. We have a bunch of downloads and Hey, here's our internal database. Just copy it, you know, literally hit duplicate and it's yours inside of Airtable. Here's a dashboard you should build inside of HubSpot. If you use HubSpot or any CRM. And so for 1497, it's a cute number. It's 1500 bucks. Um, we had that available for people to kind of try to do it yourself, right? Okay. Not everybody can pay me 85 grand. What, I get that. If you had to guess, what do you think my favorite one of the downloads is in terms of the, uh, the KPI dashboards? Oh, uh, either the daily shutdown scorecard in Airtable or was that it? Yep. Yeah, it's dope. Yeah. It's, one yeah. of the, it's one of the most powerful tools out of anything I've ever built. It's probably the best sales leadership, sales management tool I've ever created. Yeah. And, and just to give people some context, your whole premise for the, my understanding of the premise behind it is, is that you're looking to um, catch that demotivation trend before it actually happens. So you can yes. kind of keep them in the game. Um, Cause all of a sudden people don't yeah. people become cold overnight. It's a, it's a trend that happens. And if you know, with this tool, you can catch it before. It, it's uh, so helpful, man. Cause there's lead indicators and there's lag indicators. Lag indicators are how much revenue do we close? What's our close rate, right? They're, they're, they're an indicator of something that led to this indicator, right? So it's lag behaviors, things happen that led to this indicator. Whereas a lead indicator is an indicator saying something is coming. Something is either going to go well, or it's going to go poorly, or it's going to be neutral. And so what the daily shutdown scorecard does, it does a little bit of both, but it's really an emphasis on the lead indicators, right? Dashboards and reports inside of HubSpot or your CRM are very easy to build out and have that, but it's hard to identify when is a salesperson going to go into a slump, right? When they're in one, it's obvious, but how do we prevent it from happening? And so when you have consistent data and, and you'll, if you ever do the playbook, you guys will see like the, 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 the questions we ask salespeople on a daily basis um, go into this database and the database is color coordinated and you can actually see 
green means they're good or heading into a good place or they are in a good place. Yellow means, hey, watch out for this. Red means red alert. They're going to head into a slump if you see too much red. And so it helps you say, hey, because usually when a salesperson is successful, it's not because of something they did today. It's usually the fruit of what they've done the past days, weeks, and months leading up to it. And so that's why I say it's a lead indicator. If you see a bunch of red coming, it doesn't mean they're going to have a bad day today. It means that they're probably setting themselves up for failure in a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month out. Yep. And you can start catching that and you can point it out. So, hey, I'm noticing you're not doing your daily startup routine. Hey, I'm noticing you, you keep telling me you don't feel like you're controlling your calendar. How can I help you with that? Hey, I'm noticing that you feel like you are uh, not feeling confident about hitting your monthly goals. Let's talk about why. Right. And then you can actually, that's the coaching part. Now I can say, great. The data is the management, but the coaching part is say, Hey, how do I, help, how do I, help, how do I prevent you from getting in a slump? Or let's say you miss it and they're in a slump. You could probably go back and look at the data and say, Hey, you're in a slump. That's okay. You know why? Because here's the things you did two weeks ago that were turning red. I just didn't catch it for whatever reason. The good thing is let's change this behavior. And I bet we're going to get out of this thing and we work on it. Right. And that's, that's the, coming alongside your salesperson with data to help them. Yeah. Yeah. You're uh, the book you mentioned earlier, uh, Jeb Blunt's fanatical prospecting. He's got a, mm -hmm. uh, what he calls a 90 day rule. And I think okay. that it's perfectly in, into that where the results you're getting today are from the previous 90 days efforts. And uh, I think that's a very good um, kind of glimpse behind the scenes as to what's really happening. Uh, in that. Dude, that's the biggest thing, man, is I think people give up on sales too soon. Mm -hmm. They either think it doesn't work for their business model. They don't know how to hire the right salespeople. Which might, some of these things might be true, but I think overall, a lot of us, if you've seen the old cartoon where there's the individual who's basically digging for gold, right? And he's got this big pickaxe and he's digging and he's digging and he's digging and he tries so hard. And he's like, I know there's gold here. I know there's gold here. And then one day he just gives up and then it pans out a little bit and it shows you were like a couple strikes from gold, but he'll never know that. And so I think a lot of people just give up on getting sales right. And, and, and all it takes is just being consistent, analyzing the information that's given back to you from the market or from your data sets and making changes if necessary and staying consistent and doing it. And then eventually things start to pop off. And now next thing you know, you have revenue to play with that can help you take it to the next level, to the next level, to the next level. Awesome. This is awesome, Joey. Where can people um, find more of your content, follow what you're doing, get in touch? Totally. Yeah, I've got a YouTube channel, um, Joey Gilkey Sales Driven Agency or Joey Gilkey Dash Sales Driven Agency. That's a good place to find good content. I've got a podcast. We have two segments um, called the Best Damn Agency Podcast. And then we have a Friday segment that called Sales in the Rocks where I talk all about agency sales, agency life, agency it's long form. I'm very not politically correct. Boozy. Yeah. Yeah. You'll, you'll figure out pretty quickly where I stand yeah. politically. <laughs> uh, you know, you'll get to know me the person a little bit more. Um, outside of that, if you're like super practical, I want to buy something or I want to learn more, just go to salesdrivenagency.com. Um, you can get the play, you can cop the playbook. It's up in the header or just type in forward slash playbook and take a gander. Awesome. Thank you very much for your time today, Joey. I appreciate it. All right, brother. Thanks, Ed. All right.